Hello all, welcome to R&D Labs with me Rohan and today we'll see how to localize your application. That is if the user has selected a different region in an iOS device, how the application can show the content in the language that the region belongs to. This tutorial and the tutorials to follow, we are going to cover how to localize your application. So please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hitting the notification button so that you're notified next time a video comes in. So how do you do all this? Let's get started. So for this tutorial, I have created a startup project in Swift using storyboards. And as we know, we are going to localize or we are going to see how to localize your iOS application. So to begin with, uh, we are going to localize the controls on the storyboard so that it can show the content in the language in which the user's regional settings belong to. Okay, so for this to happen, what we are going to do is we are going to create a file in a key value pair format. All right, and it will contain all the translations. So that is um, for this tutorial, I'm thinking to have a translation file for Spanish and uh, I'm going to create a translation file for Hindi. And uh, by default, there will be a translation file for English. OK, so there will be three translation files and there will be one master file. So, for example, if I have to list down the translations for Spanish, I'm going to list down within the translation file belonging to Spanish language. So if I'm going to have a translation file for Hindi, I'm going to create all my translations within the translation file of Hindi. And by default, I'll have to add in all the text that is there for English into the English translation file. So let's go and click file and over here new and let's click file again so after which we have to search for a uh, file format called as strings.file so let's go down and it should be somewhere right here or if you just want to filter it you can just type strings and this is the one that we want that is strings file okay so just select that and click next this is very important step and um, I had faced problems earlier. Xcode allows you to change the file name. Okay, so if you give a different file name other than localizable, it will not work. Okay, so you need to keep the file as localizable. Uh, I have a tendency to name a file for the purpose that they belong to. So initially I had uh, named the file as my translations and it didn't work. <laughs> okay, so just name the file as localizable and keep the extension as it is and click create so this will create a file within your project as seen here so after you have added the localizable strings to your project uh, let us go to the files inspector which is on to your right and as you can see there is a localization section out here and over here there is a localize button so let's click localize and it will immediately give you the localization currently available for this app, which is English by default. All right. And next, after you've done this, uh, we will have to go to the project settings. So let's go to the project settings. And over here in the info section, uh, you will have to open up the localization section. And uh, if it is collapsed, just maximize it. And uh, over here, we have the English, which is a developmental language. And we have the base file as it, which is in English as well. So we just click plus and we are going to add Spanish and Hindi for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and add them. So this is Spanish. ES is for Espanol. Let's click that and it will immediately select localizable dot strings. Why? Because we had clicked in the files inspector. We had clicked the localization for this file. So that is the reason why it has shown uh, localizable.strings on this uh, pop-up menu and let's click finish all right so the spanish language has been added to the localization uh, next let's add the hindi language as well which is right here yes and i'm going to select the localizable.strings file and i'm going to click finish so that has added the Hindi file as well for localization. Now, uh, just pay attention to the localizable.strings file. Okay, so initially it was just a single file that you had added uh, into your project. 
Now, if you just maximize that and see, you have three files. One is the standard or the base file, which is English, which will have all the translations that are available for the English language by default. And you have a Spanish language file. So over here, you can specify all the translations for the Spanish language. And here you have the Hindi file as well. So we are going to just add in all the translations for the Hindi file. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to create a control on our storyboard and uh, maybe we can add in a sign up button. OK, so let's go ahead first and add that. So let's click our object window and I will just add in a button. I'm just going to maximize that a bit. And that's it. So I am going to add in a sign up a text to it right here i'm just going to say sign up okay and i'm just going to leave it as such yeah and this is not a necessary step to do uh, but before the translation i just want to title my button okay and next what i'm going to do is i have to prepare my translations both in spanish and in hindi okay so as i said we have a key value pair format for translations uh, and uh, for example if you want to name your translation for the sign up to be say uh, sign underscore up you can keep it just like that and you have to specify your translation so right now i have opened up the english translation file so i'm going to add in a translation to that which is sign up with an exclamation I'm going to open up the Spanish translation file and I'm going to use the same key which is sign underscore up to identify the translation string. Okay, so I'm going to go here. So I don't know Spanish. Uh, so I'm going to open up Google Translate and I'm going to add in the translation request for it. Okay, so let's go to translate.google.com and uh, let's type sign up. And I'm going to click Spanish language. Okay, so this shows up Registrate. I think I have pronounced it properly. So let's go ahead and copy that into our translation string. So this is what it is. I don't know what this sign is all about. I'm just going to get rid of that. I think it still shows up properly. <laughs> and I'll just save that for now. Uh, let's go to Hindi and i'm going to just copy this up over here i'm going to paste that and i'm going to clear this off and let's go to translate back and i am going to click hindi as well which says uh, sign up kare i'm just going to copy that i'm going to paste it here all right so you have three translation files one is in english the other one is in Spanish and the third one is in Hindi. Okay, so now how do you get this to work on your storyboard? So uh, let's go ahead and click the storyboard, which is right here. Uh, I'm going to open up my assistant window. So let's open up the assistant editor for my storyboard. I'm going to create an outlet for this button. Okay, so let's drag and drop an outlet and I'll name it as button underscore sign up okay and i'm just going to click connect and you have an outlet for your button okay next you have to define the key to the title of the button okay so how do you do that uh, let's go and just make some room within the view did load method and uh, i'm going to create a variable here so let's write let sign up is equal to ns localized string which is right here and i'm going to add in the key that i had defined in my localizable dot strings file so you can go into any language and you can just copy this into your view controller dot swift class and you're just going to copy that string right here okay so this is your key which is sign up and if you want to add in any comment uh, to that just for your understanding you can say this is a sign up button 
and you can just leave this right here okay now you have to define the title for that button okay so let's write button uh, underscore sign up which is our button on the storyboard dot set title and let us add in the variable name which we had declared earlier so let's copy paste that up and we will set it to normal as a control state this is all that you got to do to localize and show this text of the language that the region uh, the user is selecting okay uh, let's save it and build and see if we have any errors mm, the build has failed let's go and check that as well Mm, oh yeah uh, one important thing that uh, you all need to remember is uh, you need to end the key value pair lines with a semicolon okay so we will have to do this for every uh, language file that we have so let's end it with a semicolon and build and see yes now the build is successful so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to test this on a simulator and we will have to change the regional settings in the simulator so that the language is kind of changed on the device and we begin to see what we have done for this tutorial on the device okay so let's build again and see all right and we are going to use iphone 11 pro and i'm going to run this so initially it will be in english so let's see how it is shown great so we have the uh, the language uh, set up on the device as english and it has shown up sign up so this is exactly what we have over here on the language file uh, let's go and change the regional settings of the uh, phone or rather the simulator to spanish let's first stop this let's see what we have on the language file and we will go and change the regional settings of the device to spanish so let's go here go to general go to region language and region sorry open up iphone language and select spanish okay so it will take a while for the simulator to set the language of the ios device and here you go we have the regional settings set and as you can see the name has also changed for the apps okay so this is one of the topic that we are going to cover in the later tutorials in this series so please subscribe to the channel uh, so here you go so this is the app that we have and let's open that app and it is showing as registrate okay so this is what uh, we have in the translation file and this is exactly what is seen and also the app will show the translations uh, on the go so if you just close the uh, the app and go to the regional settings again and change the language to hindi okay so let us do that uh, i have to find hindi here there you go this is the one so i will change the language and i will close this and go back to my app there you go so the language is also appeared on runtime uh, you can change the language of the ios and whatever language has been set or whatever translation has been set on the translation file is appearing on the app as well so this is how you localize the content of the application on the ios device for any language that has been set by the user and also supported by iOS. So this is how you localize the contents on the storyboard. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts, please reach me out in the comment section. I'll be happy to help as always. And also for the coming tutorials, we'll be covering more about localization. So please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hitting notification button so that you're notified next time a video comes in. See you until next time. Cheers.